yourself something funky. that can be amplified more and more if we focus on mental, spiritual knowledge and wisdom. Well, as you know, we got a lot of evil that's going on on social media. It's up to you whether you want to partake in the witchcraft on social media or not. You see, the devil, when you talk about the devil, when you talk about um, the entities, the Ouija boards, the devices that summon, you know, just, you know, to conjure up these spirits, well, you have the same ideology and narratives when it comes to social media, family. You have a lot to, you got a lot of people up on here for the wrong reasons, you know. And these various apps are setting our youth up, you know. You have sexual deviancy. It's been going on since the internet been invented, you know. If, you know, you got common criminals and you got cyber criminals, you know. And they up here on the social media airwaves trying to recruit. You know, they, they uh, set up these fake websites, you know, provide your service, but all along they catalog you every time you converse with them. So it's very dangerous, you know. And um, some of you law abiding citizens, American citizens and family, you know, mothers and fathers need to monitor your young, your youth if you have any kids because you don't know what they're partaking in, especially if you come from a religious background. Now, for the other, for, you know, for the other side, you know, dysfunctional mothers and fathers, well, that don't, they have no accountability because that's what they is, dysfunctional. So if the, if the parents messed up, well, that defines the child, you know, 95% of the time, that's going, you know, the child's going to be the reflection of the parents, you know. Sometimes they snap out of it, or something, but majority of the time they don't. Um, 
And I just want y'all to focus on that. Be be aware, be vigilant, and, and be careful. You know, there's a lot of people getting hooked. You know, they're losing their job, they're losing their relationships because they're taking this like a, like a, uh, it's addictive, you know. And some people can't shake it. They, they can't wait to get on YouTube and upload a video. They can't wait to troll. They can't wait to talk about this. What's, what's the latest controversy and fiasco and all this. Uh, some people are actually caught up in that family, you know. You know, you got these people been on here years and years. They get their channel shut down. I don't care. I make another channel. I make another channel. I make another channel. It don't make sense to me. To me, that's a waste of time. I wish I would put all my time and effort in opening up a channel just to see it get shut down and just to open another one up just to see that get shut down, then back and forth and back and forth. That's, that's not even logical. That's stupidity. Um... So it has to be some kind of fair play, family. You know, when when you uh break it on down, you know. Um I only can elaborate on what I know and what I see and what I hear and what I can touch. You got a lot of internet gangsters, you know. I never showed a gun. You know, so y'all wouldn't know if I had one or didn't. I'm never going to do that anyway, because I was once was told by OG, if you're going to pull it out, you you better use it. You know, I learned the old-fashioned way. You pull it out, you better use it. And you have this generation, this culture, in the melanated community and all these apps, Facebook Live, and YouTube, and various other networks, that they feel as though they need to post a activity as far as artillery guns and so forth and so on and um i'm telling you family that's stupid okay you just giving the fbi the key to open your damn old front door you know but you know social media since i've been on you know, social media has been teaching me a whole lot you know it's been teaching me a whole lot fam You see, I mean, you really see a lot of people that they want attention. And that's another thing. Some of these people never had attention. And, and like that's why I tell when I do videos, go outside. You know, God made this real estate, which is the planet Earth. You as a homo sapien, you need to go out there and experience life travel. Get, get some air. Get out that four corner room, that musty, moldy place you at. It's been an effortless time on a platform and you really not getting nothing out of it. Are you inspiring people? Are you helping folks through your commentary or are you just wasting your time? See, that's what you gotta, that's the result you gotta come down to. What, what are you here for? What is your plight in life? What do you want as the individual? Female or male, male or female, vice versa. What do you want? See, half of us go to the grave, and it's sad. I could have, I should have, I would have, but didn't accomplish the goal that God set for us to do, your God-given talent. And that's what I try to key in in my video so I can inspire you to find your talent. Everyone, is, everyone has that installed in their psyche. If you don't have no mental problems, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're not bipolar, schizophrenic, uh, you, you're just normal. You know, you know, like a, you know, you think on a normal playing field. If you don't have no mental ailments, you should be able to tap into your God-given talent and um, find it and go about your life and pursue your careers. See, this is why it's so essential you pray. This is why you pray. This is why you build up, build up um, faith. You know. I mean, that's the only thing. Without faith, you can forget it. You know, because when you don't have no faith and you don't have no uh, no spiritual accountability, 
Well, you're just wasting your time. You know? And that's when the demons intervene in your life because you don't have that spiritual protection over you as far as faith. And you're living in a worldly life, see? And you open yourself up for a demonic attack. I say this, and I say, I've been saying this since I've been doing YouTube videos. Um, Mother's Day should be every day, not just set to one day. But you know about these holidays, family. You know we didn't create these holidays, okay? I just get along with the get along because I got a family, you know? And I just go along with the tradition because some habits are hard to break, you know? I would get into a big argument if I tell my, you know, tell some of my people that it's my elders within my family not to celebrate Easter, not to celebrate Christmas, even though they open that book up and they will tell them that, you know, those holidays are pagan. But we're so indoctrinated into this system and this religious system, this catalyst system, and uh, we feel as though we need to go along to go along, you know. But you, you know, see, that's the mentality we got to break, you know, so we can free ourselves of ignorance, you know. But that's up to the individual. My thing is this, man. I want you to see the scope of things. The internet and Illuminati and the stuff y'all talk about, it's all over the internet. You got practitioners, you got magicians. You got people that hack. You got the subweb. I mean, you got the deep web and you got the subweb or the, or the web we on then it goes deeper and um that's the that's the reality of it you know it it, it doesn't surprise me because like i said you have common criminals and you got cyber criminals you got you know let, let, let me peep you the game because you know some people think criminals are dumb no not all criminals Criminals can be very smart. They can be have a very big, you know, very high IQ. You know, usually your career criminals are smart. You know, they're beyond the normal uh, person. They're like geniuses, but something snaps in that mind and takes them into a dark place. <laughs> unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. If they mind, unfortunately some great there could have been some great folks but they chose the dark side and usually your career your uh, career criminals are very very intelligent this is that this is how they evade and don't get caught and, and, and they chameleons and they know how to maneuver because they're always a step ahead of the law and the police and they study you know some of these criminals they could have been lawyers they study law they study law and loopholes so they know how to, you know, in case they get into a catch-22, they know how to defend themselves in court. Oh, yeah. You got some criminals like that, you know. But uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, talk to you about a few things that was on my mind as I'm doing now. And um, you got to realize, uh, if I am, At the end of the day, you won't have to choose one side or the other, you know. And that's what it all comes down to. You know, well, as you know, we got an individual trying to sue Google. Trying to bring on a case. Let me tell you something, family. I sit back and look at this since I've been on YouTube. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. That stuff right there, the Civil War or, or whatever y'all want to call it, it's a setup. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to have their channels terminated or or they're just going to get tired of it and crash and burn. See, that's the, I mean, 
I mean, that's the divide. That's the divide and conquer. See, it's crazy because people are blinded by hate, you see. You know, and that's all their mind is in as far as the melanated war going on. But in the big scheme of things, in the big pictures of things, the big pictures, certain people don't want melanated people to express their views and topics and they dialogue by this ad crisis being implemented on social media. Those people that is melanin that engage in that activity, either side, it's going to catch the wrath. The people that to- told you point blank, user friendly, no hate speech, and y'all still doing it. Some of y'all escaping, some of y'all, you know, they, they, they already know who you are. They just, you know, usually they wait till you build up and really get, and really get you. And I've been saying that because all the major platforms been getting shut down. So that hurts, and those people been on there for been on, been on. You know, those people been on YouTube for quite a long time, way longer than I have. And that's who they go after. They 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 hit you where you need. They hit you where they know it hurts. You know, they don't worry about small platforms. They don't because because you got a small platform, you only got a certain amount of people that watch your commentary. See? But, see, see, my thing is this. You got the rules and engagement right in front of you. Either you're going to play the game, go to another platform, create your own website, or, or get it, um, get a cloud, or or get a pay-per-view, get a pay-per-view uh, hookup with Vimos, you know, and charge people for your videos. It's up to you. Entrepreneur, you want to do it that way. And it's up to the people that, you know, that is your fans and subscribers and viewers. So, you got to make this thing complicated. You know, you got the rules set in front of your face of engagement. If you don't play by the rules, you know what happens. So, why hurt yourself? Treat yourself. Don't hurt yourself. You know, and it doesn't solve nothing because it ain't nothing but a bunch of people that's disgruntled. I have half of this stuff is self-inflicted and people got... Uh, skeletons in their closet family and they come on social media we tend to come on social media as black folks because we hyper emotional the majority of us and we want to be seen because we never got attention in our personal lives and we want to put our life on the world stage that's how, that's how it is some of us feel as though we accomplish something when we do that air our differences and our frustration out instead of doing it in a private chat or emailing a brother or sister and solving it and hashing it out that way in secret instead of broad you know broadcasting it public in the mainstream some of us some of some of us as black folks cause our own problems then try to blame it on white supremacy and everybody else, but the problem, 95% out of the time, is the individual. You know. So I just want y'all to think about these things I've been elaborating to y'all today. And like I said, happy Mother's Day to the women, all colors and creeds and nationalities. And uh, I might get back with y'all. That's about it.